boys what is up welcome into another video that's right today we're back playing some more standard it's a brand new season so you know we're on the grind you know we're grinding for that high mythic spot you know who's on the scene it's your boy anyway today Azori Soldiers, pretty sweet deck that came out of Brothers War. Obviously, a ton of new cards, right? Basically, Brothers War constructed. And obviously, our main archetype is the soldier theme, the soldier creature type. Having just a bunch of creatures of soldiers, just being able to swarm your opponent is pretty sweet. Okay, but with that said, let's start with the one drops in the deck. We do have two new one drops in Recruitment Officer and Frontliner. These both are pretty sweet, but in particular, Recruitment Officer has even found its way into Pioneer. It's just a really good one drop, being able to, later in the game when you're flooding out a little bit, being able to tap mana to start looking for cards in your deck and it's any creature with value three or less which spoiler alert is basically every creature in our deck so it's basically look at the top four impulse put a card in your hand pretty much for four mana and you can do this a repeated amount of time so it really does break open board stalls pretty easily and we got a pretty good slew of two drops resolute enforcements just to kind of go wider thalia obviously thalia has been a staple for white aggressive decks for a long time valiant veteran a new two mana lord that basically Whenever it dies, you also get some value on the way out when you can exile it and put a counter on all your creatures. And Harbin's also pretty sweet. Harbin's an easy way to win the game. If you ever get to attack this and trigger this, it's pretty much game over. And also, something that's worth noting with Harbin is you can play this when you already have five creatures, and those five creatures will already get the flying. You don't actually have to attack with Harbin himself. All right, pretty good stuff. Over here, too, Brutal Cathar. Brutal Cathar, pretty standard stuff. Just kind of a Fiend Slayer type card. Clears the way. We're not really playing any spells besides two in the trenches, but it's just an easy way to clear out roadblocks you may have. Siege Veteran. Siege Veteran's pretty sweet. Siege Veteran is another one of those cards that it kind of breaks open board stalls, and our next card as well will kind of be in this category where you can just play this card, you can sit back for a couple turns, start growing your team, and it also protects you pretty good in sweepers as well. Sky Strike Officer. Sky Strike Officer might be the best card in the deck, just being able to take over games, play this card in turn three, immediately draw a card, next turn attack, make a soldier, play a soldier, play another one, draw two cards. Like the card just gets out of hand very quickly and it's also flying, which is pretty hard to block. Yeah, Sky Strike Officer, insane. And pretty simple basics here, Kamigawa lands, all that stuff. We are going to go over the sideboard. We're going to be playing a couple best of one games today, but I think we'll be able to get into a best of three game if we're on our shit today. Two Guardian and New Benali. This card's pretty sweet. Pretty similar to like a Danto Vanguard. You want this in any matchup where you're going to be uh, facing a bunch of removal. You just want to be able to play this card in turn two and basically, basically it never dies. Unlicensed Herge, pretty simple. Just exile the graveyard, get stuff out of the way fast. Lauren of the Third Path, this card's kind of like Reclamation Stage that can, you know, dig you out of a land flood. And it's also a 2-1 Vigilance, which is pretty sweet. 2 Wandering Emperor, this card's kind of a flexible card. I've been kind of unimpressed with it in the sideboard, to be honest. But it's a Wandering Emperor. It's still a great card. Comes in in some matchups. Can help you win some creature, you know, some creature, some one-on-one -on -one creature matchups with the plus plus one counter and whatnot. And can also just take over a game by itself. So probably worth a slot in the sideboard. For Peacekeeper, Peacekeeper's pretty simple. You want this card for Invoke Despair. You want this card for your big sweepers. It's not a soldier, which kind of sucks, but uh, <laughs> still very good on turn three. Still, still gets the job done. Another Brutal Cathar, pretty self-explanatory. Just want another one of these for roadblocks. And two Kayla's Reconstruction. This card's pretty sweet. This card, I was pretty close to playing this card in the main deck. It's just really good to be able to cast this card on turn five or six, dig, and be able to put a bunch of cards into play because a lot of your cards will dramatically change the board state, right? We have a bunch of Lords. We have Sky Strike Officer, Harbin. Easy ways to kind of snowball the game out of control, and Kayla's, to be fair, could just be a main deck card. Okay, you guys know what time it is. It's time to drop a like. It's time to subscribe. It's the holiday season. We're going pretty hard for this set. We're going pretty hard. We're trying to hit Mythic. We're trying to get a high Mythic rank this month, so you don't want to miss anything. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more content. And as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. Check out the links down below and check out the untapped link as well so you can get all my deck lists. Let's get into the games, baby. Let's go. Yo, what is up, boys? We're back with another one. Azorius Soldiers. Yes, sir. New season, new grind. That means new me. Let's go. Uh, we're on the draw here, and uh, yeah, got to keep this hand. One, two, and the Sky Strike Officer. Always a keep. Hopefully, we'll find a land before then, though. All right, Beachhead. I'm going to reveal an officer and just play it. And it's usually the pattern with the, uh, the Beachhead is you want to play it in the same turn you cast the Soldier, so you're not giving out too much extra information. It looks like a little bit of Grixis action on the other side. We're going to play a couple best of ones. Going to play a couple best of ones and uh, see, the de see what the deck can do in best of ones. See if it has some legs over there. And then we'll probably get a best of three or two in. Okay, no land here. But we do have Thalia. Which I think I'll play here over Harbin. Just to, uh, just to blank out their Fable the Mirror Breaker or their other removal or whatnot. 
I guess Harbin is better against like a Corpse Appraiser there, but looks like they didn't have it, so good for me. Uh, turn three, they just passed. No, no early creature draws. Pretty good for us here. Let's go ahead and attack for two. Attack for two, and they did absolutely nothing. Probably a make disappear here if I had to guess. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to bait them. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and bait them here with this officer, see if they're going to bite, and then we'll just cast the uh, the Harbin. Nice. Nice, there we go. Do, 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 do. But yeah, we're jamming some standard. I've been jamming a bunch of standard decks, trying to uh, to rank up a little bit. It's only my second or third game on today, but... Yeah, I've been liking standard. been liking standard. I think it's pretty good with um, all the mid-range decks kind of getting a, at least a little bit put in check by these, these soldier decks and the mono-red deck, at least. Um, cause I mean, right now I think Rixus is just clearly far and away the best deck, but I do think this soldier deck has some legs. I think it has some legs and it could very well be up there with, uh, with Grixis for one of the better decks in standard. Okie dokie. So I could just play an officer and just immediately draw a card. I think the three damage is just worth it here. Ah, is it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Three damage is worth it here. What did they dump in their yard? They put Make Disappear and Appraiser in the yard, so probably a pretty solid keep there. And Sky Strike Officer is pretty awkward against Shieldred, just because obviously you can't draw that many cards when you're taking two damage a card. <laughs> uh, it adds up really fast, so. Drawing three Thalias is um, not exactly what the uh, doctor ordered here, but we'll take it. All right, go for the Throat My Officer. Fine to me. Well, not fine to me, but it's okay. Attack for three in the air. And we're just going to go ahead and pass here and play uh, Enforcements. I've been kind of feeling the awkwardness of in the trenches with Thalia. Like, that's kind of why you don't play Wandering Emperor in the main deck of this deck is, like, Thalia does, you know, comes with a cost. You know, it affects both players. Um, and in the trenches is, like, super awkward on turn three when, you know, you want to go one drop, two drop Thalia into... Uh, in the trenches, and you just can't because it costs four. But overall, in the trenches, has been it's been okay. It's been serviceable, right? It's an anthem. It does what it does, and um, and later in the game, you know, the six mana flexibility is definitely not to be looked over. It's came up uh, once or twice. Okay, I wonder what our opponents uh, tanking on here. I wonder if they they probably have a corpse appraiser. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was kind of hoping they were going to use a uh, removal spell on my Thalia so that we can just play an extra copy, but I guess we'll see. I am kind of regretting uh, attacking with the Harbor in that one turn with the Sky Strike Officer. Like, maybe we wanted the card there more than the three damage. Probably did. In this matchup, it's really just an attrition matchup. Like, it doesn't feel, uh... Oh, I thought they ended the turn. I shouldn't have played this. All right, whatever. We'll take three. Um... Oh, I guess I could have traded there. Nah. Nah. All right, three damage in the turn. And, I mean, next turn we have lethal here with Harbin if they if they don't have a way to kill it. Which they didn't have a... They didn't have the last couple turns, so... I think we're definitely in business here. Also, I mean, if we rip a land for in the trenches, we're also threatening quite a bit of damage. Play this. They have two blockers. They go probably, I don't know, block, block, and then take, you know, five or so. That'd be a little bit more than five, right? It'd be seven. Yeah. If they kill this and then blocks, so. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. It's been some heavy tankers in the ladder today. My like first couple games, it's been like, <laughs> you know, people just taking their sweet time. Everybody's trying to get the uh, the early mythics. They don't want to waste any games whatsoever. I love it. But also, don't be that person. Just make your plays. <laughs> it's okay to think. There's nothing wrong with thinking. Just you know, don't take an over excessive amount of time. 
Wow, they're gonna burn their time out. Game, all right. Sure. Yep. Attack me for six. Part of me really wants to block with Thalia here. What does this attack for six mean? It means they don't have a way to kill my Harbin, most likely. So I think they're just baiting me to try to block, and I'm um, not going to block. I guess they could have a, maybe like a Shieldred or something. Ooh, they're playing Burn Down the House in the main. Yeah, that, that plays here, sure. Okay. Yeah, well, playing enforcements. Ooh, that is a gas draw. That's what we call that in the business. Uh, yeah, let's just draw a card now. See if we can rip open a land here. Nice. Land pass. Burn down the house in the main. I guess it is best of one. Makes some sense. Have a little bit more uh, flexibility for some of the creature matchups you may incur. Especially if, if uh, soldiers are starting to pop up more. I think you could definitely be in the spot for burn down the house in the main. So they're going to invoke to spare me here, looks like. That's another thing about the soldier deck is like it just destroys invoke to spare. Invoke to spare is so bad against this deck. Still, you know, draw four and kill your 1 1, but. Yeah, it's very, very, very weak compared to what it usually is. It's actually really good they're going to use it here before we play her in the trenches as well. So it's going to put me down to six. Oh, they might have the, the serpent. They do have the serpent. <laughs> All right, that's pretty sick. Discard two. Wow, okay. All right, we got ourselves a little game here. I mean, we got to keep it in the trenches, right? Did they pay any red for it? They just paid blue, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep it in the trenches here. Wow, serpent's pretty sick, man. A lot of people haven't been playing this card, but I've been saying it, man. This card's nuts. This card is great. Harvester is pretty good there for them, too. All right, well, play this. Attack for three. They try to kill it. That kind of sucks. I mean, it's our play, right? There's not really any other play here. Yeah. Boom, they're down to five. Play this, soldier. All right, pass it over. I don't want to draw a card because I don't want to just die to uh, invoke right off the rip. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can also activate the beachhead. Cycle, sure. Do, 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 do. Nice, it's really good they're sacking the blood token there for us. I had a pretty interesting decision there if they decided to sack this. Do I draw a card or not? In response. I think we're uh, pretty smooth sailing here, though. Yeah. Easy money. Big W on the board. Big game one dub on the board, may I add? On to the next one, baby. Let's go. All right, boys. Here we go. Back for another one. Zori Soldiers. Yes, sir. Game number two. We're going first. And I gotta keep this hand. We, no one drop, but this hand is pretty solid. Uh, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and just decline. No reason to show anything when I'm not gonna use the untapped mana this turn. Put in a play tapped and keep some uh, keep some hidden information here. Oh, right on time, front runner. Yeah, we love that. Um, yep, I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal this. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and play this. I'm gonna play this here over like a. Uh, over like a Harbin or the Front Runner, just so we can play Officer next turn. Looks like our opponent's on Mardu Angels. Pretty solid deck. Yep. Speak of the Devil. 
All right, give me a land here, baby. Come on. One-time dealer. Come on. Come on. All right, well. It's better to play the two one-drops or the hard bin here. I guess the one-drops, right? A little bit more pressure. That kind of sucks. Yeah, this Mardu Angels deck is pretty legit. Like, obviously, you have Giada, you have Archangel of Wrath, you have um, the 2-1 that draws a card and gains a life. It's just a really good mid-range shell. It's one of the better um, mid-range decks in standard right now, in my opinion. Obviously, you still get the broken cards, you still get Fable, you still get Shieldred. Still got a lot of gas. Okay, so we did find our land here. Question is, what do we do with it, right? Do we... Do we Cathar the 2-2, two -two, the token, so that they can't do anything with it? Next turn, if they have a land, they can go Archangel plus the Shock, which kind of sucks with the uh, Giada. Kind of sucks for me. Kind of just want to play Sky Strike Officer. It's pretty hard for them to deal with. And we're one short of double activating it. I think I'm going to go ahead and attack. Well, actually, this can't get bigger, right? That sucks. I'll attack with the officer here. I'll offer the trade here, I think. Yeah. Perfectly fine trading for uh, either of these 2-2s, two -twos, these quality 2-2s. Two and let's go ahead and play the officer here. Thankfully, uh, Archangel is not immediate value. I guess they can attack with this, get a treasure, play a mana, and then, you know, they can activate it for two, but... If so, so be it. Playing Cathar is pretty close there, I think. I think I just like getting down Sky Strike Officer to try to start hitting some lands to start going double spell. Because, like, our opponent's obviously already making a ton of value with uh, Fable, and, you know, they have a ton of big swing cards in their deck, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up a card here. Do we want to pick up a card, or do we want to hold up two guys to block this 2-2? Two -two? Hmm. Tough choice, tough choice. The greedy part of me really wants to just draw a card here. But I'm going to play it smart here. I'm not going to draw a card. I'm not going to draw a card. I really want to block this 2-2. Two -two. Keep, uh, keep the ground a little bit clearer. Vigilance, sure. And they have an Overseer, okay. Yep, seems good. Alright. Uh, I think it's probably a similar play to the last turn. Just attack for two, play an Officer here. I mean, we can attack for two or just play the Cathar again. I really just want to set up, like, five creatures plus Harbin and just try to go for a kill, but, like, they have a bunch of flyers, so that seems pretty hard to do. I think I like getting down the Cathar here. Ah, maybe not. They have Kiki Jiki coming next turn, and, like, they can't really attack with this 2-2. Yeah, I'm going to play the Officer here. I'm going to play the Officer, just make him have another removal spell. Start at kind of trying to churn through some value. Kind of the same logic as last uh, last turn. Like next turn, we're pretty priced into playing Brutal Cathar as well for the the Kiki Jiki. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think if I was to register. If I was to register a deck in a standard tournament right now, it'd probably be like Grixis. Mardu is right behind it. Well, probably like Grixis, Azorius, and then Mardu. Yeah, Mardu is a very solid deck. This card's pretty sick, though. I didn't actually realize this card is an angel at first either. Really good with Giada. Pretty sick with uh, Kiki Jiki as well. Alright. Uh, treasure token. I mean, I guess I just take the obvious block, right? Gajo, yeah. Yep, that's brutal. 
Let's go ahead and uh, pick up pick up a card here, I guess, for our troubles. This is not going our way, especially game one when we don't have a ton of removal. Yep. Yep, we're just going to pack this one in. This is kind of just the uh, the best of one special here. Ton of uh, flyers, can't really kill any flyers, and they stunned our, uh, our early growth as well. Our opening draw is also pretty slow. So, all right, that's an L. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, boys, welcome in. We're back. Playing some best of three, see if we can get a, uh, a best of three or two in. Give you guys a better view of the deck, because, I mean, just considering most people will be playing best of three. At least that's the way that I prefer to play. I know there are a bunch of uh, best of one. I've actually heard like a statistic on Twitter that like said like best of one is like 80 to 20 in favor of uh, the player base, which I thought was crazy. I was like, no way, you know? Guess, uh, I mean, to be fair, best of one draft is way better than the best of three draft in arena for some reason. The best of three just takes forever. Um, but I mean, it's kind of just personal preference, right? Like obviously, Eliminating the the sideboard in the draft is kind of kind of a yikes, but um, I mean, I really want to just keep the pressure going here. Our opponents play mono white, probably mono white control, mono white, uh, what you call it, mono white invoke here. Yeah, I think we're gonna have plenty of value here. I'm just gonna go and jam for the two first strike, keep the uh, pressure going. I mean, if you want to just chump my uh, my Thalia, sure, by all means. Right, play Sky Strike here and pass it back. But yeah, I mean, I like for me, best of one standard is like, all right, you know, it's good to like test the deck out. That's usually why I play best of one is just for these uh, these videos, you know, just getting um getting some easy games in so you can see the core mechanics of the deck without taking up too much of your time. All right, Valley Veteran is actually an excellent draw here. Actually, a crazy good draw. Boom. And I really want to draw a card here, so I'm just going to go ahead and attack with... Actually, we could attack with all three, right? Do I want to trade for these two 2-1-1s? Two one Not really. Yeah, let's just attack here. Just attack here, play our officer, draw a card. Look for a, uh, a Harbin or another Lord or something. I mean, this creature has first strike, so... <laughs> if you want to double block, by all means. All right, sure. Take three. Officer. And, like, this is the snowball -y effect of this deck, right? When your opponent doesn't have a ton of removal, this deck punishes them out just crazily, right? I guess crazily... Is crazily a word? I think so. <laughs> Extraction specialist, sure. Thought about playing a couple copies of this in the sideboard as well. It's a good, uh, good... You know, anti-removal or anti-sweeper card. Looks like our opponent's on the uh, the budget special here with the Obscura storefront. Hey, we don't judge around here. We don't judge. Okie dokie. Um, yep, pick, a, pick up a card here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. What happens if I uh, jam with the squad here? Three blockers, they got boom, boom, boom. Three, no, they block here. Three, six, like eight damage, not worth. Is Brutal Cathar worth it here? I'm still not really sure what my opponent's up to. They could be up to invoke whatever, trying to get a big Sanctuary Warden out. I think I'm just gonna save this for a rainy day and just play a uh, Sky Strike Officer here. So let's just make an easy attack, stack with these. Not get too greedy. They could have a sweeper next turn. Pretty possible. All right, take six. Take six, I will play an officer here. And this is pretty much threatening lethal. It's close to lethal at least. With the, uh, the in the trenches in the wings. And we got a Brutal Cathar if uh, anything goes too sour here. Firing Overseer, sure. All right, so now I'm pretty sure they're off the uh, the Invoke, you know, Sanctuary Warden shenanigans. Right, let's go ahead and pick up a card here. I'm 
Nice. All right, well, pretty easy stuff here, I think. If I play in the trenches, is it lethal? They have three blockers. One's going here, one's going here. One's going there, one's going there. So that'd be four, seven, ten. Pretty close to lethal, and they'd have to chump all their stuff. Uh, soldier here. All right, well, let's play our in the trenches. Get into the, uh, the World War II trenches, if you will. Nice. Big W, game one. Game one, in our pocket, easy money. Uh, how do I want to sideboard for this mono white deck? I don't want to get too crazy here, right? Because we don't know what they're doing yet. We don't know a ton of stuff. I think I'm just going to keep this nice and easy here. I wonder if this is a no sideboard. Because, <laughs> like, what, what, I mean, what would we bring in here, right? Like, Brutal Cathar, I guess, is decent, but, like, all the creatures they've shown me are, like, pretty bad to Brutal Cathar. I guess Extraction Specialist is pretty good to Brutal Cathar. All right, let's bring in Brutal Cathar. Let's bring in that. Let's check out the trenches. Let's keep it nice and easy. Don't oversideboard. That's lesson number one for the kids at home. Don't oversideboard. Just because you have cards in the sideboard doesn't mean you have to bring them in. Let's go. All right, boys, here we go. Back for game number two. Uh, yeah, I mean, can't really ask for much of a better hand than this, right? One, two, three into a trenches. Yeah, we'll take it. We will take it. Just bought these uh, these unhinged lands as well. Pretty good purchase. I think they're like, uh, what's the equivalent money wise for that many gems? I think it's like 20 bucks USD. About 20 bucks USD for these lands. I just had a bunch of gems laying around though, because I just farmed a bunch of drafts. But the uh, yeah, I, I love these lands. Long story short. Okay, let's play this. Just gonna jam the uh, the reinforcements here. I think. Kind of the same reason behind not playing Harbor on turn two. I want to get this down so that Sky's Rag Officer can immediately pick up a card and we can also attack. But I guess now it looks like we're not going to be attacking. Hmm. This is a prime turn for In the Trenches. But I just really want to get down this, uh, this Sky Strike Officer and start drawing cards. It's like an immediate answer card. I'm going to play this. I'm going to go ahead and just not attack with anything. Chill back. And then next turn we can play Trenches or play a Harbin here in a couple turns and just really go over the top here. do 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 all right, search your library for planes, sure. Okay, wedding announcement for a card, sure. All right, I'll go ahead and pick up a card on your instep. Okay, so we can't really go double spell here. If I play trenches and just jam with the squad, I think I'm just gonna set up uh, Harbin next turn. We're pretty close to just having lethal here by just going trenches into next turn Harbin. Like, that's a lot of damage that they can't block. Um, I did not mean to cast that. My mouse slipped. Okay, well, I guess we'll take it. Uh, this is actually also the, the, the other play I was thinking about, but I guess we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just put a counter here and jam. This is fine. This is uh, another serviceable play here, but I, I meant to probably play Trenches there. But next turn, I mean, I think we're still pretty close to lethal here. Like, I mean, we got one, two, three, playing O here. Sure. O gets nice and brutal cathard. Okay. I will draw a card. Okay. If I would have drawn a land there, I think we had lethal... Do we have lethal now? If I play Harbin, attack the squad, they go block here, which is a pretty easy block. We'll say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. So not lethal, but we're just gonna play Brutal Cathar here. Cathar, kill that, play officer. No reason to go crazy here. Oh, didn't mean to do that either. Mouse is going crazy. Um, I want to put a counter on a two... I guess we'll just put it on a token here. No, let's put it on the Brutal Cathar. Get a, a soldier for our troubles if he does end up biting the dust. Three in the air. Boom. Pass. 
And this game is just clearly the power of Sky Strike Officer. For some reason, it's flying, right? <laughs> I don't know why the card's flying. Um, but, I mean, we're just easily snowballing this game. Elspeth finding Overseer. I'm afraid that's not going to be good enough this game, my friend. All right, I'll draw three, or draw a card. Right, let's draw another one, why not? Ooh, yeah. All right, well. Let's go uh, Harbin here. <laughs> In the trenches. Hey, is this good? I can't tell. Yep, this is all I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck easy fucking money easy dub on the board 2-1 and one on the day 2-1 on the day, it should have been 3 no, but 2-1 and one on the day, we'll take it I think we're just going to end it right here, we're going to end it nice and easy, short and sweet nice and easy for the new season I want to keep these videos coming out easy, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always, don't forget, check out the links down below and tell your friends and family, and have a good rest of your fucking day boys, I'll see you in the next one Gang gang baby, see ya.